400 years ago, my patriarchal ancestor, Lawrence Rutherford, founded our town. Anyone see the resemblance? I definitely see it. <laughs> it's in the jaw, in the shoulders, through the chest, and probably some other places. <laughs> OK. Thank you. I am the steward of my family's legacy. That will resonate throughout history. And you have a museum. You're going to get yours, too. This is a ginormous casino. But nobody wants to help my cultural center. The only native artifacts in here are those bags. <laughs> you seem smart. I'm guessing lots of college. Not Ivy League, but so close it drives you crazy. Northwestern. Nathan, I'm calling to request a response to Mayor Chisenhall's decision to move Big Larry. I'm sorry, what? The problem is not Big Larry. It's the road. This is the fifth time someone's crashed into that statue. It's a public safety issue. It's history, Deirdre. You can't change history unless you have a time machine. And you don't, because if you did, you'd go back and tell yourself not to buy that blazer. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get this town on my side. Yes. And I'm gonna transform my cultural center. <laughs> This town has forgotten how to honor their ancestors. We focus on the problems that are actually important. Big Larry's important. More important than the opioid crisis. Apples and oranges, Carla. There's something happening in that town. This is a story about the stories. Damn, the podcasting voice is very manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> much drama. Bud, let's uh, leave them more. Okay, no, but I'm not done telling these people why they're wrong and stupid. <laughs> this is why it's not worth being friends with white people. No.